guys, I'm filming another haul. I've been hauling it up lately. Shopping it up, not bragging about it, just like, uh... But um, I have a ton of makeup here to share with you that I've got, you know, over the past three days maybe. You know, one of them I ordered a while ago. Sorry, I'm waiting on a text message. I'm gonna get one of those backdrop things. Look on Craigslist and I found one for like $15 but there's a tear in it so I'm like, I'll take it for 10 bucks. Like trying to bargain with him but we shall see what he says. Again, gonna be checking back and forth but um sorry about the lighting if it's washing me out I just tried filming a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing now using this L'Oreal palette but I don't know how the lighting looks I don't know if that's gonna go up or not so I apologize ahead of time if because I Instagrammed a picture of it and you guys are like oh I love it and I don't know even know if I'm gonna be able to put it up because of yeah whatever but this is going to be a mix of drugstore and um, high-end so I'll just start with um, the drugstore stuff, the the awesome, it's new, new stuff that I freaking love. <clears throat> I'm in love with them, seriously, especially what I'm about to show you right now. Dang, I've been shutting it up for real. Uh-oh, texting me back. Hold up, hold up. What do you say? Ho was mentioned online. I'll take 12 if you come now. I will take it. Okay, well, I'll be right back. I think I'm going to go pick it up. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Look who got a back porch back job. Uh, uh. Now if I have underwear on my bed or uh, Alana on the bed or Toby on the bed or anything on the bed or something embarrassing in the background, I don't want you to see it. <laughs> I got good old backdrop back here. And you know what? I was going to buy one, but you know, there's a minor little cut back here. Um... I was going to buy one off of the internet for like 70 bucks, but I'm like, who, this thing is ugly. Like it's not, it's not ugly, but it's not like pretty or anything, but freaking Craigslist. I've been on this weird Craigslist obsession lately. Um, I sold, there was this ugly furniture that I had in my room that I've just wanted to get rid of honestly but I was like let me put it on Craigslist and I sold it for like 50 bucks or something like that the first day within the first couple of hours so I was like let me see if they have um, room dividers so I typed in room dividers I've been searching them and they're on there for like 15 bucks so this guy he's moving and he wanted to get rid of his room divider and he asked 15 bucks for it or something but I texted him and I asked him like is there anything wrong with it and there's like a couple of tears in it and like one up here but um he lowered it to 12 so i paid 12 dollars for this amazing room divider i mean it's not amazing but you know it'll do it it'll do do the job it'll do what i want it oh no oh no the point is so you don't see background okay <laughs> so let's just roll on back into the video sorry i stopped i literally stopped right then and there and went and picked this bad boy up sorry about the lighting i'm sure it's bad because it's about to storm outside probably hear alana back there but she's okay she ain't bothering me Whew. but i think they had a cat because i'm like really allergic to cats i can i like need to clean it super super good because there's like <laughs> it's grossing me out thinking about it right now but i gotta clean it um yeah so I think they had a cat because I'm like, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's what's happening to me right now. Oh no, don't play. I'm missing a bag with, uh-oh, and I'm missing a, a freaking lip stain. It's in my purse. Hold, please. Hold, please. All right, my bad. I had to take a voyage downstairs to grab my dang purse. Oh no, and there's wetness in there. Oh, it was from a baby wipe. Okay, so, whew, dang, I'm working out today. So let's start with drugstores, new drugstore stuff that I've picked up from the drugstore that I freaking am insanely in love with. So I'll start with these Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm, Lip Stains, whatever. Okay, guys, these are seriously my absolute favorite <clears throat> right now. Um, these are comparable to the Clinique Chubby Sticks, I guess, but I've never even heard of those until recently, and I've never tried them or whatever, but they're like pencil, they look like a pencil, and they twirl, and these go on like very, very sheer, but that one's so pretty. I love it so much. This one is Darling Sherry, Cherry, Sherry, whatever, Sherry. 
um, but it's so pretty. It's like a purpley color. And the cool thing about these is, is like they'll go on your lips and they're minty and they feel really good, but then they stain. They actually stain your lips. Like the shininess will go away, yes, but it'll stain your lips and your lips will have this type of color to it the entire day. The entire day, I swear you guys. I wore Cheris, is it? Yes, Cherish, this one, and I Instagrammed a picture and you guys really liked it. And guys, this makes your lips like super, super pink. But I am absolutely in love with these. Seriously, love them. I also picked up, you can hear Alana, I think she's like, cop. she's sitting in front of a mirror right now copying me. <laughs> but I also picked up this one, but I left it in the packaging. This one is called charm because um some i tweeted a picture about this or not tweeted i instagrammed a picture about this color and the like tons of you were like that one does nothing for your lips it's just like a bomb so i'm probably gonna get like a red one or maybe the orange one or just a different one but i really do love them so i'm sure i would have loved this but if there's no color payoff then nah i'll pass so love these these are the revlon just bit and kissable bomb stain and of course i'll put them down below if you are interested in these two colors i'm telling you you need to get these two because you're you will love 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 the colors okay Next things are these lipsticks, and I have been dying to try these lipsticks. They're the ones by Maybelline. Everyone's been freaking tweeting, Instagramming them. Oh, I got the new Maybelline, la, 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 la. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't, and I'm going to go to Walgreens now and find them. And luckily for me, everything was buy one, get one half off. The Revlon ones are buy one, get one half off. And the lady behind the counter had a dollar coupon, so I'm like, this is meant to be. So I got these two because they were also on sale, and I'm like, these are meant to be too. But, okay, so let's start with the pinkier ones. I got all four of them. There's like six of them, I think, but the other two, they were just, they weren't, I weren't feeling those. So I just picked these ones up. This one's porcelain pink. Now, this is like porcelain pink for real. It's like, uh, it's very milky, I guess you could say. It looks like that. Very, very milky. I myself would not be able to rock this alone, but you guys know how I work. I definitely wear lipsticks um, with other colors. I think this with like um, a darker lip liner on the outside would be beautiful and this in the middle I think would be really pretty. I apologize for my lighting if it's like super dark. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make it work. The next one is Flawless Fuchsia. I've seen tons of people talk about this one. And this one I can wear by itself with like a gorgeous lip gloss over it. It's like a pinky, it's pinky purpley color. And it's gorgeous. That's it right there. Oh, I love it so, so much. I think this would look very good on people with less full lips than me. Like if you have like that medium size lip size and you can wear any, any colors. Alana. Any size lip color, any size lip color, any color lipstick. Like you can just rock them all. The next one is Smooth Taupe, and this is a Mommy. nude. You guys know I had to get Mommy. the nude. I know, baby. I'm talking. You're talking? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one is Smooth Taupe. Mommy, you think me? Looks mommy? like that right there. Mommy, I do mommy, like these. I like these. You know, like, mommy? I am, baby. I like the way they look mommy, a lot on. Um, I think. Nude Nuisance is my favorite one, other than Smooth Taupe. I can make them work because you guys know that I mix them, but by himself, by itself, it looks crazy. In my opinion, by itself, but yeah. And then this one, I really love Nude Nuisance. It's like my fave. So if you were to choose out of these two, I would definitely mm -hmm. pick Nude Nuisance. And if you wanted to pick between these two pinks, definitely Flawless Fuchsia. But Porcelain Pink could definitely be pretty mixed with other colors. But that is Nude Nuisance or whatever. My, it, You gotta remember how tan my skin is, so it's gonna show up a lot brighter. But it's got like a pink hue to it. But I promise it looks so gorgeous on. Meg says it's a dupe for MAC something along those lines. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But she said it's a dupe for some, one of those. Uh, uh. Whew. Whew, I'm tired. So uh, another lip gloss that I got. This was on sale for like $5. So I grabbed it. It's a Colorstay Ultimate. What is it? It opened finally. Ooh. What you look like. Ooh, it's pretty. That pink right there. Let's see what it looks like. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, man, I love it. That is a pretty baby pink color. <laughs> I like it. What color is it? Prime pink. Hey, I like it. That's the first time I tried it on, by the way. <laughs> All right, so I went to St. Augustine and they have a cosmetic company outlet. Okay, I never seem to explain myself whenever I say this, but a cosmetic company outlet sells high-end makeup for cheap, like way cheap, well not way cheap, but cheaper than let's say you would find it at like Dillard's or something. Dillard's, not Dillard's. What am I trying to say here? At Mac, or that's mainly why I go there. It's for Mac and Clinique and mainly Mac. Let's not, let's not fool ourselves here. So I got this MAC Mineralize Blush in, what's it called? Sakura. Sakura. And it's this gorgeous purpley, pinky, purple color. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, baby. I love it so much. And I loved it whenever I um, swatched it in the store. Anything purpley, pinky is going to be fabulous in my book. So, yes, I freaking love that so much. Yeah, I'm being awkward in this video. Oh, apologies. Okay, and I also got some MAC lipsticks, which I have to. I like, they're my new obsession. I love MAC lipsticks so much nowadays. And I feel like I look so dark. Oh, hopefully I can fix the lighting in the video. Holy crap. This one is called Snob. Oh, I was so excited whenever I found this one. I am absolutely in love with this color, guys. Like, so in love with it. It looks so good on tan skin, I think. So, if you have a tanner skin tone, then I would definitely pick this up. And I love the satin lipsticks by MAC. They're just fabulous. They have great pigmentation. They're creamy. They smell good. Ah, I love it. Love it. That's it right there. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, that was um, Snob, and this next one is called Peach Stock, which is my favorite new nude. Seriously, I am so obsessed with this color. It doesn't make me look like I'm dead, and I can wear it by itself. It looks kind of brownie. Brownie. Oh, it's so pretty. And I think this one is a satin, too. So it was meant to be. Yeah, it, was, it is a satin. But that's what it looks like right there. Right there. Yes, that is peach stock. Again, I apologize for the lining if it sucks balls. And then I got this um, NC35 freaking um, Pro Longwear Concealer. That's dark. That's really dark. That looks like it's just dark. But surprisingly, it's, it, it's my same color. But I will say that I used this the other day to like bright or to use as concealer. And it looked like mud. Like after it oxidized or whatever so I don't think this color is right for me but don't quote me on that I'll probably love it again I'm gonna try it out again and see if I was just applying it wrong but I think I noticed that it didn't crease but I'm not sure I'm not sure don't don't I will do a review on this and let you guys know in a favorites video if it was good or not uh, right now it's like mm, I don't know I don't know about it and oh that was $12 this was $12 to $16, and the Max, MAC lipsticks were only $10.25, which is super cheap for a MAC lipstick. I don't ever pay full price for um, MAC stuff ever. Well, I'm not going to. I think I bought like one or two things full price from them. But this lip gloss, okay, MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss Lovers. This stuff is sticky. I don't know if I'm going to like it, like, but it stays. That's the cool thing. It like stays. And the the color is freaking gorgeous look at that pink and it's freaking so pigmented I just love pink god pink everything is just fabulous and it's infinitely likable yes I like it a lot infinitely apparently and I think that's oh and then the last three things are from Outlook and you guys know I order from there all the time I love Outlook if you haven't ordered from there and you love high-end stuff you're just you're just crazy what do I say girl you great you better buy some so I am wearing this highlighter actually right now I am in love with this highlighter so much and I've only used it once but I can already tell you guys that is going to be my favorite freaking highlighter ever but how cute is the packaging on the bomb products I love the bomb stuff I have so much bomb stuff because they have them at TJ Maxx and 
now because of Holt look. And oh, how freaking gorgeous is that highlighter? Oh, it's just beautiful. You could use this as like an eyeshadow all over your tear duct or all over your eye for those days that you don't feel like putting makeup on, you know? I always do that. Love it. Love that stuff. And Time Bomb, the bomb concealer. It looks like this. This stuff is in light medium, but it's so light on me. So I'm guessing, I don't know, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look that light. But on, I pro oh, I'll look at it next to me. It's pretty light. So I can just use this as a little, oh, and I like that it comes with a little brush. Like, put it in there. But, yeah, I tried it out, but I, I didn't like it because I didn't put it on. I put it as, on first as my, um, um, what am I trying to say here, to cover up my dark circles. But if your concealer is way too light and you put it on, it'll make your under eye circles look worse because it'll turn into like a purple and that's what it did so I'm sure on top like the last step to brighten it would look good but as um oh formula wise it's good and I'm sorry I, I never finish a sentence have you guys noticed that I'll say something and then I won't even finish that sentence I'll go on to in the next one I don't know what that means but sorry I apologize about that um that I'm sure that's annoying for some of you Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> and also, I got the new Tude palette. And I am freaking excited about this. I can't wait to try it out tomorrow. Uh, it looks like these. And the packaging is so cute. Looks like this. There's so many matte colors in there. Well, really not that matte. There looks like there's a little bit of sparkle in all of them. But, oh, I love it so much. Let me swatch one of these. Oh, girl, these are pigmented. Don't even. Those are really pigmented. Like, that was just a swipe. Those are so pigmented. And it comes with this nice mirror. Oh, my goodness. I am in love. I can't wait to use it. Oh, no. I don't want to get my new chair dirty. Oh, and I got this new vanity that's right in front of me that's behind the camera. I can't wait. I'm going to do a new makeup collection um, setup, whatever, for you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. And this cool backdrop that I have now that I can use for like whenever I do makeup tutorials so you don't see the craziness in the background. Like it's probably a wreck back there, but I'm not even going to move it. But that's the end of this makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this stuff, please feel free to ask me. I plan on doing like a full review on all of this stuff and like let you know how I like it, blah, blah. And um, as far as the makeup that I'm wearing, I plan on putting a tutorial up. Oh my gosh, do you guys like this lip color? I love it. But um, okay. I plan on putting a video up on it if the quality came out okay. I did film it right where I am, but the light somehow washed the colors out in the camera. So that pretty much sums up this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.